Hey everyone, welcome back to Gear Facts. Today it's the Worm, the Electro Harmonics Worm. It has four different effects in it, and it can take an expression pedal to control the dynamics of those effects. I don't have an expression pedal today, but I do have my trusty nose reviewed separately here on Gear Facts. And we'll turn the amp on. Okay, and we'll start with the auto mode. So this is the wah sound. Very nice and smooth. And of course we can change the range and the rate. On to the phase effect. Now this is interesting because even though it says phase up here, it's actually more of a vibrato kind of effect. And the next one, which is called tremolo, is more like a phaser. I'll slow it down so we can hear. To me that's more like a phaser or maybe sort of a blend of phase and tremolo. Interesting, anyway, very nice effect. And then we have vibrato at the end. Well, let's try it with the expression pedal. You can see now, if I reposition these so you can see a little bit better, the red light changes as I rotate the expression pedal. Or in the case of a normal person, I'd be pressing down on a foot activated expression pedal. So let's start off with wah. It is a very nice smooth wah sound. I'm going to operate the nose with my left hand now and just play a single string. Very nice, let's move on to that phase effect that I said is more like a vibrato. The tremolo effect, which is more like a phaser. I love this one because it's a manually controlled phaser which... Um, And then the vibrato effect. I can't say I'd be switching over to that one all that frequently, but it gives you an idea. The worm is a very worm-like pedal. It does have sort of slimy, slippery, expressive sort of sounds. I particularly love that wah. I think it's among the smoothest I've ever heard. And that phaser is really creamy as well. Taking a quick tour around the pedal, we've got guitar in there and your expression pedal socket. It takes the stereo TRS type expression jack. And on the other side, it's just our line out power there. It doesn't appear to take a 9 volt battery. It takes a 24 volt power supply, which struck me as really strange. It runs only at about 150 milliamps too. So a very strange specification there. But a genuinely interesting pedal, which, depending on the style of music you're playing, could take a very important place in your pedal chain. Thanks for watching Gear Facts again, guys. You are most welcome to hit that subscribe button or have a look at my Facebook page. Have a great day, guys. Wow.